evening And I just got paid Well, it's Friday evening And I just got paid I'm gonna have me some fun Before I leave this place I'm gonna get my hair cut Shine my shoes Put on shirt and tie See what I can do Well, it's Friday evening you're getting your trigger time today at the 495 Test Range with Ruckus and me and our special guest, our modded Crossman 1077. On today's episode, we're going to be putting this modded and unmodded up against each other into some uh, blix, ballistics gel, ballistics clay, uh, and as well as my Sig Sauer drop targets. So we've been waiting a few weeks for this. Enough talking, Ruckus. Let's get shooting. Thanks for sticking with us here at the 495 test range. It's time to unload this beast, get it unmodded, load it back up, and get shooting again. But before we do that, I'm going to give you a little bit of, bit of a sneaky peeky at next week's episode. Check this out. This is a Sig Sauer MCX. This is not an Umarex knockoff. This is legitimate Sig Sauer. Okay, uh, this is their entry into the uh, arena of air rifles. Uh, I've got to say, um, I've had it for about a day and I, I've probably put about 400 pellets through it already. Uh, I love it. But uh, check out this quick little clip of it in action and uh, stay tuned for uh, our unmodded uh, 1077 uh, shooting competition. results. Um, we didn't shoot at the six hour drop targets today, uh, mainly because I ran out of CO2. Um, also, I didn't feel it was so crucial. I thought we, we got enough uh, information uh, from shooting at the uh, ballistics clay and the ballistics gel in this, uh, in this scenario anyways. Um, but going over the results, uh, yeah, the, the mods really uh, improved the performance of the rifle. Uh, in terms of accuracy, power, um, well, yeah, it, it's almost doubled uh, the muzzle velocity uh, and or the muzzle energy in the in the feet per second. I mean, this is. Uh, I think that the mods are are pretty good. Uh, the the one thing that I did notice is that I went um, unmodded. You'll get about four mags, uh, which is what is that? Forty eight rounds out of this thing. Uh, out of one CO2 container. Anything more than that, and you might as well be throwing your pellets down there. Um, now with the mods, you're looking at about 24, um, which all in all isn't bad for the performance you get. Uh, and for a 12 gram CO2 cartridge, uh, I'm quite happy with it. Uh, but I would definitely say if you're interested in using a 1077 for any kind of serious kind of uh, target shooting or you know rabbit hunting uh, small kind of uh, varmint hunting as well uh, you would want to mod it um, there simply isn't enough power in it stock to really do anything so thanks for popping some rounds off with us today here at the 495 uh, I hope that if you did modify your 1077 that everything worked out for you like it did for us here on the range uh, and that you're happy with the improvements uh, I also hope, too, that you uh, enjoyed our little sneaky peeky there, the pride of the fleet, the uh, Sig Sauer MCX. 
Um, and now, in case you're wondering about Ruckus's satellite dish here, no, he's not, uh, you know, tracking uh, aircraft. He uh, had to get his grapes clipped from the vine yesterday. So uh, this is just to kind of keep things clean down there. Anyways... Uh, stay tuned for next week's show. We'll be looking at the MCX a little more in depth. We'll be putting it up against anything I can find. Um, and we'll probably compare head-to-head -head the MCX against the uh, Beretta. They're both uh, what I, I call them dirty 30s because they both got the 30 round clips and they're semi-automatic. So maybe we'll have a little competition between the two. But anyways, stay tuned. If you like us and you like what you're seeing, click the like button. Give us a comment, subscribe, share. But anyways, we hope that you stay tuned, and then we'll see you next week. Take care.